The data here shows the calculated chemotaxis index for nematode worms which have been subjected to a pretreatment with a therapeutic drug at three levels, level 0, level 1 and level 2. Ultimately, we want to use an ANOVAR to test whether the different levels of treatment have any significantly different effect on the chemotaxis index. But within this video, we're concerned for checking that the data satisfies the conditions of normality and equality of variance required for the ANOVAR. However, we still need to run the ANOVAR to check those conditions. So we choose STAT, ANOVAR, General Linear Model. The response variable is the chemotaxis index. We can either double click or select. And for the model, we're testing whether the index is dependent on the level of treatment. In terms of assessing whether the data satisfies the required conditions, it's useful to look at the residuals in the data. And we will look under graphs and we will select standardized residuals. And in this instance, under individual plots, we will select the normal plot of residuals and the residuals versus fits. It is also possible using four in one to get all of these graphs just in one plot. But selecting individual ones for the moment, we press OK. To analyze the residual data more, we will go to storage and we will choose to store the standardized residuals. OK, and we will then run the ANOVAR. In the output of the ANOVAR, we see the ANOVAR table, which with a p-value of less than 0 0.0005, suggests that there is a significant difference between at least two of the treatment levels. But we wish to check whether this is valid by looking at the conditions of normality and equality of variance. So we can look at the plots. And this plot shows the variation of residuals for the three levels of treatment. And we can see from here the distribution of residuals is very similar at all three levels. So we would expect that we can assume equality of variance between the levels. If we look at the normality plot, it shows that the residuals lie close to this diagonal line which represents the ideal normal distribution. So from this data, it looks as though the data is normally distributed. To check this distribution, we can look at the residuals themselves, which have been saved in the variable SRES1. So we use STAT, basic statistics, and we will request a normality test, and we will select the variable describing the residuals, and we can choose for tests for normality using Anderson, Darling, Ryan Joyner, or Kolmogorov, Smirnov. Leaving it as a default Anderson, Darling, we press OK. And the analysis gives us the probability plot again, but it also gives us the results of a normality test using the Anderson, Darling test with a p-value of 0.319 which suggests there is not enough evidence for any deviation from normality, so we will assume the normality condition has been satisfied. We can also perform a separate test for the equality of variance by going to STAT, and that within the ANOVAR menu, we have a test for equal variances, and for responses, we will use the residual variable, and again, the factor is the treatment, and we will run this analysis. The results will appear in the session window, and we can see that it has performed two hypothesis tests. It has performed Bartlett's test for a normal distribution, which is appropriate for our normally distributed data, giving a p-value of 0 0.740, which says that we should not reject the null hypothesis in that there is no evidence of a difference in variances between the different treatment levels. It has also performed the Levine's test where it has taken any continuous distribution 
And again, the p-value of 0 0.859 agrees that we should not reject the null hypothesis. And both of these tests confirm that we can accept the condition of equal variances for the ANOVAR in this particular analysis. And hence, we can accept the two conditions required for the ANOVAR, the normality of data and the equality of variances at the different levels. And hence, we can accept the calculated p-value as a valid result.